They reach it? Barely. <laughs> Me. You got stung? Yeah, stupid bee. Looks like a little ant bite. Sorry, baby. Let me see. I don't even know where it was at. I felt it hit my arm somewhere back here. I don't see it. The bees love this feed. I don't know what, what it is about this new mixture that we recently got, but the bees love it mm -hmm. more so than the other ones. And they are all over the place. That's actually the first time anybody's gotten stung. I think it must have barely nicked you because I yeah, don't see anything. Just, I don't know. It was like down here somewhere. I don't know. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. All better. Thank you. We didn't get to put out hay yesterday for the animals because we ran out of time. And that's daylight. What, yeah, and daylight. But we had a great time. We had a really awesome time at the little museum and uh, the folks at the uh, Bee Scenes Processing in West Off Texas. That's where we dropped off the deer. Really nice people. Really great people. We had, we had a chat with them for a while, Chris. If you're watching, thanks man, thanks for the service. Went and got some food, went to the museum. We had a good time. Yeah. It was a good it was a good day. You would never know that it's gonna be freezing tomorrow. It's like 85 out here right now, and the temperature is gonna get down to the 30s tonight, high 30s, and then tomorrow night it's gonna freeze. So yeah. we're gonna have our first hard freeze of the year. Isn't tomorrow like the high during the day only like 50? I keep, I don't know, I haven't it's looked. It's something like that. Like I think it's supposed to be cold during the day tomorrow too. Cause I remember cause tomorrow's church and I was like, what, what am I gonna wear warm to church? <laughs> I have a little bit. Good morning, Tushy. Good morning. Those darn bees getting you, oh man. I didn't mean to put all that in there. It's okay. They'll eat it. Good morning. She's like, I don't know about this. Look at the bees, guys. Everywhere. Yeah, these bees are everywhere, but we don't mind it. Bees are great. They're a huge blessing. If you guys don't know how important bees are to agriculture, look it up. Bees are extremely important, and we always leave them alone when we see them. We always leave them alone because they're really, really good to have around. Max. Max over here is the only one who won't leave the bees alone. Max likes to eat them. They sting him in the mouth. He shakes it off in pain, yelps for a little bit. Then he goes back and eats some more. Quick tip guys, first instinct is usually to go ahead and clean out the shelter before you put new hay in, but that's a bad idea and I'm gonna tell you why. Billy, buddy, you have plenty of hay, but here you can have some. There you go buddy. Biomaterial is hot, so it preserves heat. So what you wanna do is layer on top of the old hay and that's gonna actually produce a little bit of heat. If you've ever had a compost pile, you know, it's the same kind of concept. It gets really hot on the inside of it and so that actually helps produce heat in the shelter along with mama's body temp and the piglets and stuff like that. And so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna layer some more hay on top of what's left in there instead of cleaning it out. The only way I would recommend cleaning it out is if it was wet because moisture is what kills your animals. Moisture breeds parasites, bacteria, flies, things like that. Moisture is bad in the nesting area. So you don't want bedding anything like that to be wet. So if that was wet, or if there was a whole lot of poop and other things in there, we would go ahead and clean it out. We're not gonna clean it out today because it looks pretty clean, so we're just gonna layer it. So I just wanted to share that tip with you guys. Good afternoon, buddy. Hey, buddy. Why don't you go get in that wallow? It's hot out here. You even got a little waterfall going on. We need to adjust it. You've got plenty of hay and our new waterer sprung a leak, and now we've got water everywhere. See that? Billy, get out of there. So I need to tighten that bad boy up. 
Billy, get out of my mule. No, sir. See the goat. Look at all that fresh hay for you guys. Hey. Are you still scared of me? <laughs> That's adorable. Next time I'm gonna get y'all treats and hide them. So you root around in your hay for it. One of the boys accidentally pulled our oregano out. To be fair, it was dying a little bit, but yeah. it's still alive. We need to trim it. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm glad I saw it. It was way over there in the yard. What is this? Is that uh, basil? I think so. I think that's basil. I think this is that cinnamon basil, actually. Let's try it out. No. It's a basil, but wait. I don't know what that is. You taste cinnamon? I don't know. Is that cinnamon that I'm tasting? Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. It's a, I saw it and I was like, well, that's, that's new. Mm -hmm. Cinnamon basil. Yeah. Hmm. It's pretty good. I wonder, I need to find a recipe to put it in. I have no idea what to put it in. We'll figure it was it out. an impulse buy. <laughs> yeah, this is regular basil. Yeah. You can tell by the leaves. Look, these are our strawberries. Rosemary up there. I got lavender Something's going to eat those. I don't know. It was worth a shot. Well, what is this? Cabbage. Cabbage, that's what I thought. So somebody's eating the cabbage and the broccoli. Probably the ducks. So all of our favorite veggies are getting eaten by something and we don't know what it is. That's the bad part about having some loose animals around your garden. Ooh, we got a tomato starting to turn. Good. And they have a lot of green ones. That's all we got for today. Everybody's hopefully going to stay nice and warm. Of course, we're going to keep close on everybody, but we got to worry about water. So we'll keep an eye on that too, make sure nothing freezes over. But it's only going to dip below freezing for a few hours. So hopefully we don't have a whole lot to worry about. And heritage breed pigs, because they naturally have a little bit more fat, they're also a lot more, uh, they're a lot more cold tolerant. So a lot of people don't know that about them, but they are. They can withstand a lot colder temperatures than a lot of these crossbred pigs that people use for mass production. So another plus for heritage pigs. Anyway, stay safe, guys. Love you guys. Stay warm. And we'll see you on the next video. God okay. bless.